we got Batman dropping on HBO Max. How many of you guys have watched The Batman at the theater? We did do a review on it. It's on the channel. Me and uh, Brian from Whisper Status 74 did the review on it. We also did a uh, another review on his channel as well. I don't know if you guys seen it or not, but if you haven't seen the video that we did on his channel, I think it's a spoiler review. It's over on his channel. But we did the non-spoiler review on my channel, this channel. But uh, yeah, man, I thought the movie was really good. Very dark movie. I think anybody with like an OLED is going to be ecstatic with it because it's, the black levels are just like like so black. I've got the um, the JVC, which I think looks very much like the Dolby Cinema, like the black levels on this new G laser JVC. I feel it's like it's it looked very similar to what I saw at the theater. So I can't wait to get to stream this movie. Hopefully it's in 4K and HDR. I've been hearing otherwise. I think I saw a video. Somebody posted a video that they're saying the Batman is not going to be in 4K or HDR. Non Dolby Vision on HBO Max. I think there's there's been some movies that have dropped on HBO Max recently, like Nightmare Alley and The Duel and Free Guy. And there's there's been some other movies as well that have dropped after the movies come out theatrically that hasn't been ported over to HBO Max in 4K and HDR. I think all the movies that release day and date have released in 4K and Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, which, you know, uh, Matrix dune west side story those have all released in dolby vision dolby atmos so i gotta say i'm a little bit worried that they're gonna drop this in only hd and 5.1 but if you guys know a little something and drop it down in the comment section so i'm a little bit worried about that but that's coming april 18th which is next week that's what's today's date right now it's six today's a 12 so six days from now you know, just a little under a week. That's dropping on HBO Max. So stay tuned. I'm sure I'm going to review that again. Now that it's, it's still fresh in my mind. So I know what it looks like and it sounded like at the theaters. So I so I watched it twice at the theaters and I took some mental notes. So I'm looking very forward to uh, checking this out at the house. And if you guys are not all up into that streaming biz, it is coming out on disc on the 24th of May for where... You know, 40 bucks if you guys are into collecting, you know, gift sets and steel books and all that. This is the Walmart, exclusive Walmart gift set, which comes with a, uh, I think, a Batarang. Let's read the deets real quick on the bottom. It includes the 2022 movie in 4K, Blu-ray, and digital copy. It also includes a displayable metal faceplate featuring a unique, unique Batarang art and a stand for the display and collectible packaging. That's on um that is uh that is at Walmart. And then of course another popular one is gonna be the Best Buy Steel Book, which that's thirty five bucks, so a couple extra bucks, five bucks five bucks cheaper than the Walmart version. That's also on the twenty fourth, and that's obviously it's just got the steel book on it. It comes with a digital copy and the Blu ray as well. So everything, all the physical media stuff is dropping on the twenty fourth. And then the digital stuff is dropping on the 18th. I don't know if that's... I don't know if Clydescape is dropping on the 18th as well. But I'll definitely check that out. But I will watch it on HBO Max. And I'll do... Probably I'll do a review on the 18th also. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, which which version are you guys going to pick up? Are you guys going to pick up Walmart version? The gift set? Are you going to pick up the Steelbook version? Or are you just going to... Pick it up on iTunes or something like that. Pick it up on digital. And also, do you think that the movie is going to drop on HBO Max with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos? If you guys know, leave a comment down below and let us know because I'm feeling like it might not. But the movie is so big that, I don't know, it's kind of a missed opportunity if they don't drop it with 4K HDR and all that. 